So Fabrizio Romano has tweeted, here we go, Man United is signing a right winger in January. Yeah. Amo Traore, Manchester United are going to sign the 18-year-old from Atalanta in a deal worth 30 million euros. Here are all the details from Fabrizio's Instagram saying, look, Traore is joining United on a permanent transfer. The deal has been agreed between United and Atalanta right now, but because of passport issues and work permit issues still pending, it's going to happen in January. He'll pay 30 million euros plus add-ons, said Palmer had an agreement to sign him on loan by three weeks. The deal was announced, but it collapsed after United's late bid this morning. He was born in 2002, considered one of the best talents in Italy. He's apparently a future star. During our training sessions, he seems like Messi. You can't stop him. He's unbelievable. Our centre-backs have serious problems when Traore is on the pitch. He only played 25 minutes in Serie A last season, but United have just, well, just agreed a deal. 30 million euros plus add-ons for Traore, an 18-year-old, who's effectively unknown. Let me know what your reaction to that is in the comments. But in January, United will be getting an exciting, completely unknown entity in Traore. That's great news. But what about this summer? United need a new right winger this summer. We all wanted it to be Jadon Sancho. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Could it be Usman Dembele? Barcelona want to sell him on a permanent deal. United only want to sign him on loan. That doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Is it Facundo Pelestri, another 18-year-old, this time from Penarol in Uruguay, who's a complete unknown entity? Could he be the one that comes in and sorts our problems out? I'm not sure. But Traore, it's nice to see United signing these younger players, but these younger players have to supplement what is a summer where United sign experience and quality. And Sancho was a bit of all three of those. He was 20, but he has the experience and the quality already at the highest level to come in and make an immediate difference into our starting 11. Now, it doesn't seem like Traore is going to do that because maybe the work permit... I'll tell you what it is. It's probably just because United are too damn late now in the window to get it all sorted before it closes because we only put the bid in for him this morning. And the only reason we would have put that bid in for him this morning is because we realised that we weren't going to sign Jadon Sancho. We realised that we weren't going to sign Usman Dembele. And unfortunately for Traore, he's probably a bit of a panic buy. But he's a panic buy that you can get behind because in January, you sometimes need new signings, new faces that can come in and lift. I mean, Bruno Fernandes showed how that's done on the absolute elite level, but maybe Traore can come and do that on a smaller level in January. But United still need... It doesn't change. Traore is an exciting idea. That's all he is at the moment. I haven't watched enough of Atalanta to know that whether he's a good or a bad player, but if United are willing to spend 30 million on a player who's 18 and has only played 25 minutes of Serie A football, then our scouts must have seen something. Must have seen something exciting enough to go and pay that money. And those sorts of players, for me, are the most exciting... They are the most exciting signings because you sign players who grow into world stars at United, not players who are already world stars before they come to United. I think traditionally in history, our best signings are those exciting younger players that we mould into superstars. So maybe Traore can fall into that category. But it's a huge what if. And it ignores the fact that United this summer still need a right wing signing. I wanted that to be Jadon Sancho. You wanted that to be Jadon Sancho. Other than that, maybe Usman Dembele on loan could have been a good deal. But I understand why United would not want to go and spend 60, 70 million to sign Dembele on a permanent deal given his injury record because you just don't know whether or not he's going to turn into a player that basically spends his entire United career on the injury table and there is a risk that that could happen so I understand why United are not willing to go after him on a permanent deal but Traore to United here we go we've got the here we go from Fabrizio Romano he is going to be joining United in January. 30 million euros. It's a lot to pay for an 18-year-old who, as I said, has 25 minutes of football. But I'm hoping there's a little special spark there that has caught United's eye. Because I think maybe our scouts are good. I'm hoping so anyway. But Traore to United. Here we go. It's a done 
deal, according to Fabrizio Romano. What's your reaction to that? It's exciting from January onwards, but we still need a right wing signing this summer. And I don't think 18-year-old Palestri from Penarol is going to solve our problems either. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Are you excited about Traore? If it's not Dembele, if it's not Sancho, who can be our right wing signing this summer that can come in and make an immediate difference to this starting eleven, which desperately, desperately needs it. Let me know what you think in the comments below.